what causes SIBO? SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So whenever you get a foodborne illness, there's a certain pathogen, specifically the Campylobacter species, but there are certain bacteria and pathogens that come in and they produce toxins. One of those toxins is called CDTB. This toxin can be produced long after you actually get the infection. Now, while that toxin is being produced in your body, it also contains a protein called vinculin. The body doesn't like that, so it begins to produce antibodies called anti-CDTB and anti-vinculin. Anti-CDTB antibodies are associated with more dysbiosis of the gut microbiome and might lead to the overgrowth of these specific bacteria that produce hydrogen gases, which is where we see SIBO. Now, anti-vinculin antibodies can actually contribute to more gut permeability through nerve damage and autoimmune reactions in the gut. Now you have these hydrogen gas producers and what happens when the body is filled with hydrogen gas is that methanogens, which can produce methane and hydrogen sulfide producers, which produce hydrogen sulfide gas, they consume the hydrogen and produce these other gases. IMO, intestinal methanogen overgrowth, is associated with constipation under that SIBO umbrella, and hydrogen sulfide SIBO is what we now see associated with diarrhea. There's likely more that contributes to this, but that's the current science behind why SIBO may exist, and there's always more that's coming, so be on the lookout for the latest research.